Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can easily add a watermark to your PDF document using Acrobat. Originally, watermarks were faint designs used only in paper manufacturing, but digital watermarks are helpful for displaying a document's copyright information, author, or even a logo. To add a watermark to a PDF, first select the Edit PDF command from the Tools Center or Tools panel. Next, click the Watermark button in the Edit PDF toolbar. Choose Add from the drop-down menu. The Add Watermark dialog box then opens. If you have a saved watermark setting you want to use, simply select the name of the saved watermark setting from the Saved Settings drop-down to have Acrobat restore the saved settings. To create a new text watermark, click into the text box and type the watermark text into the text box. As you type, you'll see the text appear in the Preview section to the right. You can use the Font drop-down to select a font style. You can choose a font size for the text from the Adjacent Size drop-down. You can apply underlining to the text by clicking the Underline button. You can click the Font Color box and then select a color for the font from the drop-down menu. If your watermark takes up more than one horizontal line, you can also choose whether to center the watermark or align it to the left or right sides of the page by clicking either the Align Left, Align Center, or Align Right buttons. Note that the formatting applied must be applied to all text within the watermark and not to text selected within the text box. Alternatively, you can create a watermark from a picture file or page from a PDF file. This is useful if you want to use a logo or trademark instead of regular text to create your watermark. To create an image or page watermark, first click the File Option button in the source area of the Add Watermark dialog box. Next, click the Browse button and navigate to find the file to use as a watermark. Once you've located the file, select it and then click the Open button. You will see an image of the file appear in the preview section to the right. If you've selected a PDF file, then choose the page of the PDF to use as the watermark by using the Page Number Spinner box. You can also specify an absolute scale of the image within the page by typing a value into the Absolute Scale Spinner box. Then, for both text and image watermarks, the next step is to adjust the appearance of the watermark so that it is visible but doesn't prevent the content of the PDF from being viewed. You do this by using the tools in the Appearance section of the dialog box. You can rotate the watermark within the page by choosing an Option button in the Rotation section. If you select the Custom Option button, you can enter the custom rotation in degrees into the adjacent spinner box. Enter the percentage of opacity for the watermark by typing it into the Opacity Spinner box or by using the adjacent slider to set the percentage. 25% is a good opacity level for many watermarks. You can adjust the scale of the watermark relative to the page by checking the Scale Relative to Target Page checkbox and then entering the scaling percentage of the page size to use in the adjacent spinner box. You can designate whether the watermark should appear on top of the page contents or behind the contents by choosing the desired option button in the Location section. You can click the Appearance Options hyperlink to set additional options in the Appearance Options dialog box. You can check or uncheck the options to show when printing, show when displaying on screen, and keep position and size of watermark constant when printing on different page sizes to enable or disable those features. Then click the OK button to apply them. In the Position section, you can manually position the watermark by entering values into the Vertical Distance and Horizontal Distance spinner boxes. Then select a unit of measure for those values from the adjacent dropdowns for both. Then choose the anchor point in the page from which to measure each of those distances by selecting one from the adjacent From drop-down for both. By default, the watermark is added to all the pages in your PDF. To add a watermark to only one page or a series of pages, click the Page Range Options hyperlink in the upper right corner of the dialog box to launch the Page Range Options dialog box. Here you can specify to which pages the watermark should be applied. Then click the OK button in the dialog box to apply it to the selected pages. To save your current watermark settings so that you can apply them to other PDF documents in the future, simply click the Save Settings button at the top of the Add Watermark dialog box. In the Save Settings dialog box, type a name for the saved settings, and then click the OK button.
When you have the watermark settings the way you want, you can click the OK button in the Add Watermark dialog box to apply the changes and add the watermark to the PDF. To update an existing watermark, click the Watermark button in the Edit PDF toolbar and then select the Update command from the drop-down menu to open the Update Watermark dialog box. This is the same as the Add Watermark dialog box. Make any changes to the settings shown here that you want, and then click the OK button to apply them. To remove a watermark, click the Watermark button in the Edit PDF toolbar, and then select the Remove command from the drop-down menu. Then click the Yes button in the pop-up message box that asks you to confirm your choice to finish removing the watermark. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.